Cobbles. Come on. Cobbles. Cobbles. <laughs> Come on. Brownie? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. No. Yeah, this one right there. Yeah. More than it does. It says it's not going to, and the other night I went home to stay, and it was like, Whoa! I know. So I was like, oh, and right. the ground is so, like, there's swamps everywhere. spending the first part of my day staining my deck at home. So we are finally having a stretch of like really nice hot sunny weather. It's almost too hot for staining. I just got started like an hour ago and it's just drying so fast. So I don't have long to talk, but um, yeah, I just like on my final stretch of the first coat, it, I literally had to take a couple weeks off from staining because we've just had so much rain, but I actually read um, that this has been the wettest July in upstate New York for 150 years thus far. So, um, yeah, hence why I haven't been able to stain. But I'm trying to get, like, real progress done this following week because um, there, it looks like there's a lot of sunny days coming. So, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'm using um, a Cabot stain that is a semi-solid just because we have a little bit older wood. And... I don't know, honestly, it's probably gonna last like a year or two because I think it's called like oil altered or something. Like, I don't know. I just find that none of them are as durable as they used to be. Like I stained my parents' decks a year or two ago and I don't know, I just don't think it lasts that long. But anyway, this is the color. So I got these steps and this is my final stretch that I'm working on now. I got to the farm and had so much to do I kind of just forgot to pick up the camera um, we just finished making basil ice cream which is very exciting another summer flavor that we sometimes do is raspberry um, which speaking of we're about to go up to the berry field to pick raspberries so once I feel like I have enough of those for sale I'll start making it into ice cream because I also like to freeze them for the freezer so anyway yeah basil ice cream it's like super I mean it tastes like basil but it's really sweet at the same time like to start the recipe you actually just um puree basil with sugar and I, every time i do that i think that i want to use that sugar for like the rim of a drink or like something like that because it's actually so yummy just by itself um but yeah so i got here and had to do some orders and just totally forgot to pick up the camera again so now it's like after four and mom and i are going to go up to the berry field it's hot and sunny today but i'm not complaining because i love it are you ready <laughs> These ones look like practically like grapes. It's like 
weighing the branch down. There's so many berries on it. <laughs> An update on the babies. They're definitely sticking more with the herd now. And all sitting in a pile. Oh, there's the Guernsey. <laughs> they still don't know what to think of people though. <laughs> yeah, they still don't want, know what to think of me. There's a stream over here, which is why the cows are all standing here. Just using the viewfinder. This is the problem with wearing two necklaces. They're just always tangled up. So anyway, good morning. It's the next day. We have a lot going on today, um, but it's all good. We just have a lot of products to make and label and some prepping for the weekend. Um, which, by the way, speaking of like the weekend and people visiting, we have this big road reroute that's going on and it has kind of made our road extremely busy. Basically a state route is redirected down our road. So like we have tons of traffic all day um, including lots of big trucks and stuff like that, but we want to put up some extra signage because all of this traffic that's been happening is like one, it could be good for new customers or people that have never driven by before. So we want to make sure that they know what we have to offer, but also with our weekend parking, um, a lot of times people park on the street and it's, it's just a small like country road. So we want to make sure that there's safe parking for everybody and I don't know, I think we're going to try a little bit harder to offer like everyday items like iced coffee and um, donuts and stuff that people might just want to like stop in for. And also we have livestock around and my parents have animals and things like that. So people coming from a state route are usually going pretty fast and we don't have a speed limit on this road. So we want to put up signage as well that just kind of cautions people because we live on a big hill. So it's easy to pick up speed. Anyway, I'll show you guys a little bit more of our signage project and what I mean about the reroute, but today I have to make hot sauce, make more basil ice cream. So I didn't get a chance to film that yesterday, so maybe I'll show you guys some of the packaging of the basil ice cream today. And what else? Mom made switchel and elderberry elixir yesterday, so we have to label those, label some more products for the shelf. Mom is washing eggs right now. And oh yeah, granola. I also made two sheet pans of granola, so we have to pack the granola and refill the oat bin. So we have this like big bin of raw oats that we make granola with, and since we just made granola, we got more oats in, and I need to refill that bin. It's just a small little job, but pack candy. I don't know. There's so many things. <laughs> I feel like I just listed a million things, but um, yeah. So busy full day, but it's all good. It's a little bit rainy right now, but it's supposed to clear up, and then we literally have so many days of sunshine in the forecast. So. I feel like at any time my brother is just going to be like, can you help me with square bales? Which is always like great <laughs> end to the day because usually square bales aren't ready until the afternoon and then it makes your day very tiring. But anyway, I can't believe it's almost August. I, I feel like everyone I talk to feels that way. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. All right, so I better get to work. That's enough rambling. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys what we get up to today. So let's get started. I realized before that I was talking about the switchel and I didn't explain what that is. My mom's being noisy. Um, and I think I might have explained this like maybe last summer, but for anybody that doesn't know, um, switchel, like they call it haymaker's punch. 
it's just a really old-fashioned drink that is like refreshing and people used to drink in the summer but literally the only ingredients are maple syrup molasses vinegar and ginger like that's all it is um so it's like it sounds weird to have vinegar in a drink or whatever but it's really just like a sweet tart it's this is a concentrate so like you mix it with water but it's just like a sweet and tart punch like a summer punch so anyway switchel it's a haymaker's punch that's what the label says <laughs> it says since as long as anyone can remember that's what my mom put on the label because it's just really old-fashioned but anyway um if you haven't tried it before you should pick some up I'm packing granola I'm always like trying to get an equal amount of walnuts and raisins in every bag because the bags are clear and mom's always like no it's fine don't worry about it because someone's gonna walk up to the shelf and be like oh this one has more raisins I want that one or someone's gonna be like oh there's like less nuts in this one I'd prefer that let's get that one so whatever <laughs> mom's packing candy typically we use these fancy shapes for candy but I've been having a terrible time making granulated this year. So I saved all of the nubs. The nubs? The nubs. <laughs> nubs that wouldn't granulate. Because I thought they'd make, like, you could put a lump of sugar in your coffee or tea. Or you could eat it like candy. Oh, yeah. Like one or two lumps. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Literally. So when she says she has a terrible time making granulated, like, she's not, like, miserable making it. But uh -huh. usually granulated, like... You have to sift it through a fine mesh and it, it makes granulated sugar, like the white sugar that you would buy in the store, except maple sugar. But sometimes it just like is too condensed and it, it won't sift out of chunks. So that's what these chunks are. They just like are too hard. So like she said, it still dissolves. So like you could throw it in your coffee or eat it because it's hard or whatever. So we're just gonna bag them up because it, the maple syrup that we made this year is just like more prone to getting harder like this. I don't know why, so. It's the sugar sand. Actually usually wear these my dad just left these in here because he's weed whacking but I actually should wear these I, everybody tells me I should wear gloves and glasses when I'm doing this because getting habanero in your eye is no joke 
Okay, so Mom and I are going to put out signs in the road. Mom has been working very hard to get them all painted and organized so that they make sense. Um, like driving up and down the road, making sure that they're pointing in the right direction, etc. So, we're going to put them out. I think either way, really. Oh. Maybe not quite so in front of the mailbox. Which way should the breakfast sign face? That way? Or that way? If I put up the donut one, it's going to go on the other side. But, and so probably, probably it should face this way, the breakfast. People aren't going to slam their brakes on for lettuce. <laughs> I can't hear you over all the traffic. Yeah. I used to be a runner. What are you now? <laughs> <laughs> eggs! Okay, so this side, eggs, breakfast. And over here? I'm just going to add, if we do coffee and <laughs> bacon, we <laughs> we're going to probably do coffee and baked goods on this side. So anyway, they won't just say lettuce. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay, livestock signs? Yes. I'll get out with the sign. supposed to rain later <laughs> um just had a really nice weekend i spent all day saturday working on my house with eric we primed our whole living room which is really exciting and had to finish like some more spackling spots but anyway then sunday we went up to his parents house on on sock and Doga lake and um just like hung out on the water all day it was so nice so anyway i'm back at the farm this morning and i just finished unloading my car with a bunch of chicken food and Two bags of hog grower because our grain delivery is coming today, but the pigs are starving now. So I just need a couple bags to get them through the morning. And I'm about to go feed them right now. And then, oh yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like all over the place, but I can't remember everything that I like filmed last, but I know I wanted to do a garden update for you guys because it's like things are totally fruiting and stuff. So we'll take a walk through the garden and um, just see where this day takes us. Some leftovers from breakfast, which was crazy, right? We had a really busy breakfast. Very. Thanks for your input. Oh no. Also, I was going to show you how many pure cats go guys were gone. That's oh, from the stack on the bench. Of how busy we are. Oh, and I didn't tell you about the weasel. The weasel? Yeah, I saw a weasel run across the garden and towards the chicken house last night. So I set a trap, which I'll show you. <laughs> but everybody's alive and well. A weasel? Get in there. Weasel. Oh, nice. So I guess we're having a weasel dilemma. Mom just said she saw a weasel like hopping across the garden the other day. So now we have a trap set up right by the chicken run. But we're, I don't know. We're like not sure if we should let the chickens out because weasels are nasty um i don't know comment below if you guys have ever dealt with a weasel <laughs> or 
or what they like because I'm not really sure how long it will be here to stick around, but the chickens want to go out. It's really hot outside. Oh, no, I don't know. Where's the really big one? In here, holy cow. Look at that pig. Holy crap. That's like holy crazy. crap. He doesn't look as big on camera, but like that's a big pig. Else. Yeah. No, big pig. What's up? Yay, breakfast! Oh my God, you guys. Okay, so garden update. Um, Mom and I are just coming out to pick lettuce because look at these rows of lettuce. We're actually gonna pull this one out, I think, and reseed because we do like to make the lettuce last as long as possible. But oh my God, it's so much lettuce. And the flavor changes. Yeah, when it gets like, when we say we're gonna pull it, it's not just like a total waste. It just, some of it is starting to bolt up. Like you can see this one is really tall and starting to go to seed at the top. So it gets like more bitter and tougher. So it's not like too early to pull it anyway. So we'll pull that row out and reseed it. But let me just show you everything that's growing. So I need to do a little bit of rototilling or weeding, but the collards are finally popping up bigger. And the yellow bean row, like, okay, so the plants have been big for a while but when we finally started looking in them, look at all these beans. They're like one of those plants that like you just keep discovering more and more. Some dill, well, a whole row of dill actually. I think the peppers are what I'm most excited about because half of them I started from seed and half of them are just varieties that I haven't grown before. Like, look at these banana peppers. There's like a bunch on one plant already. That's so exciting. I planted some hot ones, some hot bananas. So I actually don't know. I might have done mild and hot, so I'm not really sure which ones are which. Look, here's more. Oh, and the pig grain delivery is here. Quick pause on the, on the garden because the grain delivery is here. So we get a bulk delivery of the hog grower. Just climbing up in the barn right now, one-handed. <laughs> um, yeah, so we get the bulk delivery because I can't even imagine buying that many bags of hog grower. I'm also in my Birkenstocks, which is <laughs> not friendly for the hay mound. But anyway, I'm just up in the top where the grain bin is that I sometimes show you guys where I'm shoveling it down. But um, I think I've actually showed this before too where it gets blown in like maybe last summer. But I figured I'd get a quick clip. So this is the grain bin room. Um, when we do get chicken food bulk, it goes in this side, but we don't do that all the time. So this is the pig side. So when he starts blowing it in, it'll come out of this shoot thing right here. So yeah, here's the bin, it's empty. And I'm not gonna stay in here because I'll get absolutely covered in dust, you wouldn't even believe. This is why I say I'm not standing in there, you get absolutely covered in dust. Like I'm not even gonna stick around for this. this window is so dirty but <laughs> the onions are bigger tomatoes zucchini I just pulled this row out after picking a few more leaves off of it and we'll reseed it. And the snacks are going to the chickens. This is absurd, you guys. We like cannot even fit it all in there without making it too deep to wash it well. So if you're local, come get some lettuce. Come on.
Sorry, guys. Come on, Jiggy Jiggy. I like that wheelbarrow. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> As I'm walking by this bush, I just remembered where I'm going to go reseed lettuce, but I don't know if I showed you guys netting the elderberry bushes. So we have this giant one right behind the driveway. And then we have more that we planted in a row up in the berry field. Um, and we don't have enough netting for all the elderberries like everywhere just because they also grow wild where we pick them. But the netting keeps the birds from eating the berries before we can get to them. So just I just noticed this one because it's like glaring in the sun but this big one is netted and then the one up in the field is netted and they're like these nets are I don't I think they're like 40 foot um and we could honestly use like five more of them so I, I think we just got them on like Amazon um but you can probably also buy them at like your local farm store so anyway or like ag store I'm gonna reseed the lettuce and then I need to pick berries again so I'm actually gonna go back up on the hill we actually have an order for 300 popcorns as little favors for um, this nonprofit that is in Cobuskill. So I need to pack a lot of popcorn and label a lot of bags after this, but we're trying to get some of the work outside done because it is going to rain and it's also very hot. So all the stuff that needs to be picked, like needs to be picked before it's completely wilted from the heat of day. So that's the plan. Not sure where the line was. This is only like quarter inch, isn't it? Yeah. Truck traffic. Car traffic. Char, car, car, truck. <laughs> it's lunchtime. It's Monday. I don't know if this is very straight. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I think you're veering off to the left a little. <laughs> Not terribly. Okay. Yeah, look, it's getting dark. Yeah, we better hurry. We could do berries tomorrow morning, but I went up yesterday afternoon. There were a lot of blues. <gasps> There's a lot of blues. And Joe really said Maybe she also should... picks before the birds. I think it's supposed to be another like sunny time in the afternoon though. Oh. Like we could just go after lunch. Isn't that where the killer killer bugs? It says 11 o'clock sunny, 12 o'clock, 80% chance of rain. It's 11.40 right now. Oh. 1 o'clock oh, sunny, 2 o'clock cloudy, and 20% at 3 o'clock. Like maybe we should go up. Or do you want to just go? Well, I don't know. We could get to the lettuce. Do your seeds. Did you take a picture of the scarecrow? Yeah. Okay, I'm on to my next project. I think I mentioned this earlier that we had, I think I called them favors, but really they're more like promotional popcorns. Um, we are or I am labeling 300 bags with labels that Cade sent to us for this event that they're having. So Cade is the Center for Agricultural Development and Entrepreneurship. Um, we've actually worked with them a couple different times for different events, but they're local. They're like not far from us and they just do a lot of work with like food and farms in the community. And I think that they're having something called their Summer Supper um, this following week and that's what these promotional swag popcorns are for. So. We love that they choose to market with Buckhill Farm for different things um, and share our goodies with people. So um, we're always happy to do that. I have half of my bags labeled right now and then I'm going to start filling them and sealing them. But that's what this uh, big mess is. <laughs> um, yeah, it started pouring rain outside. So it's actually a good day for this kind of project. Okay. Hi friends. So I just got home. 
sorry I'm making noise. Um, I just want to show you guys. I didn't bring the camera up to the berry field with me this time, but we went up and got so many berries. And I just brought home this pint of blueberries. Look how good these look with me to have in the mornings. Um, but yeah, okay, so while I'm home, um, I just got home. It's like 6.30ish, and I wanted to show you guys some of the priming that we did in our living room. So this whole room needs to get primed again. And then we have our flooring on a pallet in the garage. So maybe when we're installing it, I'll give you guys a little bit more of an update on the flooring going down. But yeah, it was like kind of like a dark peach color before. So it's like so much brighter in here with the white everywhere. But yeah, progress. I actually, Exciting news is that Eric and I are leaving the day after tomorrow to go to Nashville. Um, I think I said in a couple videos like a while back that I had bought Eric tickets to see George Strait and Chris Stapleton in Nashville. And that is on Friday. So we're leaving the day after tomorrow and I want to be able to ed edit this video and get it uploaded for you guys. So I think I need to end it. I know this video has been a little bit all over the place, but I definitely wanted to get another one up before I left for five days because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be filming anything down there other than what's on my phone and like social media and stuff because I just want to enjoy it. But anyway, I will see you guys when I get back. Thank you so much. All my new subscribers and anybody that's like first time watcher. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. But every single one of you, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon for the next video.